Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris Harris, and this is John Taddeo's first powerlifting meet. Leading into this meet, John, um, we really, really worked on patterning depth. He had an issue hitting depth, so we would do a heavy competition style day and a box squat day or squat to a box at a position that really promotes uh, depth. And we really, really worked on that hard through the last 16 week training cycle. And what ended up happening actually a few weeks, uh, a week and a half beforehand, he, uh, he ended up dropping a weight on his foot. And that really kind of, he ended up breaking his outside toes. So on his right foot, keep in mind that his right foot is literally broken during this uh, in training, the heaviest we went up to for his squats was 450 pounds. Uh, but of course, it wasn't with USA, USPA judges. It was just kind of sort of a gym PR. And he also had different style of knee wraps too. What ended up happening, the knee sleeves, that the knee wraps that he was using were not USPA approved. So this is a totally different style of gear. And I recommend that never change gear day of unless you've been training with it so the fact that he was able to still squat and perform as well as he did was quite an accomplishment john's bench is great we we train these very very strict with three mississippi counts and we wanted to make sure that we had some wiggle room as far as being able to increase weight on the bar with the extra long pauses in training, that kind of prepares them for the worst. And we ended up doing a touch and go on the last session. That was actually the Monday leading into this meet. And we were very, very close to hitting a 315 touch and go PR. He hit 310 touch and go. But in training, the best that he hit for a competition style pause was 285. So this third attempt was a one pound personal best and it was very very easy i think we had at least 10 more pounds on the bar and but live and learn the next meet will do even better john kind of struggled with the deadlifts and it's just a hard movement to get into and we trained really you know very low volume on these leading into it and after a very long day, the deadlifts can be very fatiguing and taxing. The second attempt here didn't go as smooth as we wanted to. It felt pretty hard. The lift right off the floor was pretty much the hardest part of the lift. So I decided to stay a little conservative with his third approach, uh, third attempt actually, and make sure that we really, really hammered down going nine for nine and although this wasn't a personal best his personal best in the gym was 435 pounds this put him on the board for a nice nine for nine total giving him 1140 pounds <laughs>